Hey guys, Nick from Long Island Wargaming, bringing you a video on how I magnetized my lightning cannon and my plague claw catapult for um, my Skaven army. Um, so I do have two of them together and I will go ahead and show you what I did with these. Um, let's start with this piece right here. What I did do was um, assemble this by first, I actually took all the pieces, primed them up first, and then um, painted these two large pieces and then everything else in between and then uh, painted them brown with some dry brush uh, to give it that dirty look and then some bulk on metal um, on the wheels and then I did glue this together but what I did do was these pieces in here I um, clipped them out, cut them out, shaved it and then put a little magnet on each side. All right, and then from there, with this piece here, I clipped off the little parts where it would fit in nicely, and I put two magnets. Two magnets right there. Two on each side, I should say. One, two, one, two. All right, and then also with this piece, there's usually two little spikes there. I cut those spikes off and put two smaller magnets. And one magnet here on the end. So here's this piece right here. Again, we got one, two small magnets, a third small magnet on the end, and then two larger magnets on each side. Now, with these two larger magnets, they'll be able to snap in nice and easy, like that. And now this piece is adjustable. It can move, so whatever position you want it in, if you want it in some fancy direction or whatnot, uh, you could do it however you'd like. All right, so I did that for this, so I'll show you right here. I'll take this off, same thing. I got my two larger magnets, two small ones, and then little one right here. Oh, and I almost forgot there's going to be another one right there on the end. Let's see if I did that for this one too. You can see that one right there for the catapult part of the model. Alright, so I'll snap that back in. Alright, so you can see this one's a little bit more done. It's got the crew on it. And now for the assembly of the weapon parts. Now this, I painted these all separate. So I have this middle part right here. So I'll first do the lightning cannon. So with this piece right here, no magnet in this side, a magnet fits in there perfectly. So what I'll do is take it like that, just squeeze it on. All right, and then the other part, no magnet, it just squeezes right in. All right, now we've got that magnet in there. Now at the end of the lightning cannon part, I shaved it down a little bit and put a magnet. So that's actually a magnet right there. And bam, just snaps right in. So you might want to adjust it however you need to. And we'll just uh, take it right here. Bam. All right, so you gotta adjust it to line it up however you want it to. And then for this one right here, I'll just snap it right in. Oh, this one does not belong to this one. It belongs to this one. So that snaps in, no problem. All right, so it's a little it's a little funky looking, but um, I'd rather have these pieces so I can interchange them depending on how I want them. Instead of buying four of these models, I only bought two. And then if we want to change it into the Plague Claw Catapult, what I'll do is, is take this out, take this off. We don't need this part now. Throw that over there. Now what we'll do is we'll take this piece right here, just kind of push it on. Take this piece right here, make sure it's right there in the middle. All right, and where we had the um, cannon before, it was right up there, like this, in that position. What I'll do is I'll take this off now, twist it, 
and then you got that little uh, little piece right there and that small magnet will help connect to this part right here good push it in nice and tight and then I got a little magnet in there a little magnet right there bam there we go then you can adjust it at whatever angle you want so I'll show you with this one alright so with this piece right here put the big part on first little part on afterwards so it lines up nice and then push it in magnets to catch it right there all right and then this part I don't actually have yet painted but then you could put that in right there now with this one I learned something the second time around now I'll show you the difference. Now with the catapult, the first time I put the magnet on like that. Which originally was fine, but then once you have to put the magnet in there, it just kind of hangs. So, with the second one, I decided to cut out, oops, what am I looking at? Decided to cut it out a little bit this way when it goes in. It fits a little bit more snug and it kind of locks in a little bit better. So, there's your plague claw catapult. And I'll put this in right here. And then we'll set the other one up as the cannon. And like that, take this piece. Like this, like that, and then lock it in right there. And click. So I hope you guys found this video informative. Got those two extra pieces right there. Um, there are some pieces you will end up omitting um, if you wanted to do this conversion.